In this session, I'm going to discuss artificial neural network. Artificial neural network is inspired by neural network found in human brain where close to 100 billion neurons are interconnected in a complex network and each of the neuron may be connected to up to 10,000 other neurons. And if we look at the structure of neuron, it has a main part which is called cell body and a main stem which is called exon and there are large number of tentacles coming out of both cell body and the exon. So if we look at the model of this neuron then this is the cell body and this is exon. The tentacles coming out of cell body receive input from other neurons and the tentacles coming out of the exon are output tentacles which give inputs to other neurons. Now if we look at the tentacles each one of has different thickness and that is because each one of them has different strength. So what each of the tentacle does is whatever input it receives it either amplifies or reduces that input and sends it to cell body. Now what cell body does is it receives all the inputs which are either amplified or reduced and combines them and then processes them further. Now the combination part is done by a function called summation function and further processing is done by a function called activation function and then that output is passed on to other neurons. So in the same way our artificial neural network is the basic building block which is our cell body and we call that node and there are several links for receiving inputs and each of the link has a certain weight. So whatever input that we are getting from other nodes is multiplied with this weight associated with the link and passed to the node. Now this summation function combines inputs from all the nodes and that it does by taking weighted sum of all the inputs and the weights are the weights of the links. Here note that a bias term bj is added to the weighted sum of inputs to the network to make sure that even if the input to network and weights of the links are zero, the input to activation function is non-zero. Therefore, each node in hidden layers and output layer has a bias associated with it. So if we denote input to our node as xj, then xj will be x1 w1 j plus x2 w2 j plus up to xm wm j plus bj and that we can write in compact summation notation like this. Now the activation function takes xj as input and gives yj as output. So the output of activation function can be written as yj equals to f of xj and this output is passed on to other nodes. Now in the neural network in human brain these neurons are interconnected in a complex manner. However, in artificial neural networks we only consider simple arrangement of artificial neurons and simple patterns of connection between neurons. This arrangement of nodes and pattern of connections is called architecture of artificial neural network and the most common architecture of artificial neural networks is feed forward artificial neural networks. In feed forward ANN the neurons are arranged in layers and these layers are stacked one after another. Now the nodes in a particular layer are connected only with nodes in the previous layer and nodes in the next layer. The first layer receives 
input from external source therefore it is called input layer and the last layer gives output to external source and therefore it is called output layer and the layers between input layer and output layer are not accessible to external source and therefore these layers are called hidden layers now in this type of network the input layer receives input from external source and passes it on to next layer and this layer passes it on to further next layer and so on till we reach the output layer now because the input is flowing in this network in forward direction this architecture is called feed forward artificial neural network now how many layers should there be in an artificial neural network how many nodes should there be in each of these layers what should be the weights of the links between the nodes are all part of training the artificial neural network and we will discuss them when we discuss training of artificial neural networks in later sessions